Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of the Scarlet and Violet DLC, The Teal Mask. It is episode 4, and last episode we did a few side quest things, you know, finish the one with the uh, Blood Moon Ursa Luna and stuff like that. But today, we're doing the main missions, alright? We're finally going to get to Kirin, and we're going to go to the festival together. I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm hoping something exciting. Because honestly, nothing has really happened in the story yet. We just kind of got here. And we fought Kieran at Ogre Pont's hideout. Alright, I do hope you'll be friends with my grandchildren. Garden Shed. Okay, yeah, so we have to find the masks. So we can go to the Festival of Masks. Erg, but there's got to be another one. Sis, David Ferg's here. If you guys didn't know, um, the reason I'm named David Ferg in game is, uh, my first name is David. I'm not going to tell you my last name, but my first name is David. Uh, but I, I'm going to go by Zeth or Zethermas on this channel. Or Zethy. I'm fine with that too. I'm, I've been thinking about, you know, I've named a few of my, uh, Pokemon characters that in my recent playthroughs and um, while I uh, read this well it looks like there's only two masks in the shed too bad right there's nothing I can do about it well I am going to be doing a series um, for BDSP because I have never played that game and I'm going to be doing shiny only Nuzlocke on that game and I'm gonna be live streaming and recording it so I can make videos out of it and I can live stream so maybe pop by one of my streams if you want to one of these days I'll probably just be shiny hunting but uh, yeah look forward to that to that um, alright let's keep going guess you'll just have to do without a mask eh? first come first served and all that seriously what the hell Come on now, don't look so glum. How about instead of a mask, I give you a battle in style. Festival style. Alright. Oh my god, we've battled these guys so many times, like, it's kind of weird. I feel like everything I've done here is just battle them. It's alright. And are they really not going to give me a mask for the Festival of Masks? I'm a guest, goddammit. You rude son of a bitch. Oh my god. Alright, well, um... First of all, I forgot to heal Ursaluna. Angry form or Pekko. Nose Combined, hmm. Blood Moon. What's that do? 140 power, 100 accuracy. User unleashes the full brunt of its spirit from a full moon that shines as red as blood. This move can't be used twice in a row. Wow. Wait, that's a really good move. Holy. Think I can one-shot with it? No, we're gonna do, uh... Oh, or a wheel? I don't know, I've never used more P.E.K.K.A, so I don't know its moves. Alright, it's all better now. Alright, let's Blood Moon. Wait, this is a special attack, right? Yeah, I think it is. It should kill. Damn it. What? More P.E.K.K.A has a Focus Sash. You're faster than me, but... I don't know. I think I'll just kill and then switch out. Uh, yeah, I'll switch. I'll switch to, um, Scizor. Swadloon is grass. It's level 63. Why haven't you even... Haven't you evolved this? Like, why... 
seems pretty stupid as a trainer. Right, the scissor easily takes care of that. It has Intimidate. Well, there's something to talk about during this battle. I, uh, my channel name is, of course, Zeth's TCG. And I collect a lot of TCG, you know. I have multiple full sets. I, uh, have many extremely rare cards. I might, like, uh, showcase my collection a video at one point. I played the game a few times, like, I probably, I played against my friends once in a while, you know, and I wasn't very good. Now I kind of really wanted to get into it, because I named my channel Zeth TCG for some odd reason, uh, mostly because I collect them, but, uh, I got into it, and I'm doing the online version of it, the, uh, Pokemon Live, I think it's called, and it is actually much more fun than I remember it being. Like, I'm kind of getting really into it. Like, I use the most broken deck, the, uh, me ride on deck. So, you know, it, it kind of crushes, but it's really fun, you know? Sometimes you just kind of destroy, because, uh, I, I don't know, some people get into higher leagues somehow. And, um, and then other times I'm in, like, insane matches like I feel like it, it, this guy the people I'm playing against feel like geniuses to me and their decks are like super interesting and unknown to me because I don't really know the deck comps for uh, TCG so it's all new to me and it's just really fun and interesting to learn all the different mechanics and all the different uh, things I think uh, I might do a video of Pokemon Live at some point, or, like, talk about it in a short. Alright, let's get back to the game here. It's okay, David Ferg. You can just wear my mask. Really, Kieran? What? No, I already said it's first come, first served. Dude, I swear, Carmine might be on that abuse shit. And besides, your, that's your ogre mask. You've always loved that mask best. Yeah, but, no buts about it. David Fur can just get his own mask at the festival. He's fine. Now move it. Let's go. Yeah, I guess I could do that. What's with the Power Ranger mask that she has? Does that connect to the three Pokemon? I don't, I don't know. I know my sis seems kind of harsh, but she's really not that all, not all that bad. Actually, she was tearing the shit apart trying to find a third mask for you before you got here. Uh, oh, but, uh, don't tell her I told you that, David Ferg. Gotcha. I wouldn't want to tell you, Kieran. I would feel awful if you showed up with bruises. Um, the Festival of the Mask is held up at Kitakami Hall. Of course it is. We should probably get going. Yes, finally, the festival. Alright, we have just about arrived at our destination. Kitakami Hall. I could have just fast traveled here, I just realized, but whatever. It was a... An interesting trek. Okay. Who's this? Can I talk to him? Festival of the Mask begins tonight at Kitakami Hall. Take your time and enjoy yourself. Alright. Let's see what this... Kitakami Mask Festival is about. Ooh. Music. Wow, look at that FPS. <laughs> look at him waving the fan. It's moving at one frame. Look at that. It's actually moving at 60 frames a second. He's just moving way too fast. Oh my god. It's just here? Can I just run up to it and catch it? Can you imagine if this DLC had Legends Arceus mechanics and you could just run up and... 
throw mud balls at it. And this is the festival of masks. Today's just the first day. It'll keep going for a while. I bet you don't have any festivals this big in Paldea or whatever, right? Uh, are you disrespecting my culture? You pig. No, I'm kidding. Uh, no, we actually don't have a festival like this, so you're right. Heh, knew it. See, Kitakami's just as good as any of your big shiny cities. I don't know. I'm personally a city person. It's okay, David Frick, just ignore her. Even though I do not live in a city, which sucks, but, you know. It's okay, David Frick, just ignore her. I already read that. I'll snap a photo so you can remember this amazing night forever. Give me a roto stick for a second. Look at that frame rate. Hoo wee. Come on, you two, scooching closer. Does everyone have the same experience with frame rate in this game? Or is it because I have a day one switch? Like, do, do uh, OLED switches run this game a lot better? I would hope so. Ow, you're stepping on my toes, sis. Oh, stop complaining. This will only take a second. Oh my god. It's actually... <laughs> Yikes. Okay, are you all ready? Say Chansey. Chansey. Now that's what I call a nice festival vibe. The festival of masks is held so we can all honor the loyal three. The brave heroes of Kitakami. The loyal three are the Pokemon that once protected this land from the evil ogre, you know. Most of the kids in town wear masks of the loyal three like me. Did I mention they are heroes? Hehehe. <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? Nothing. I was just thinking it was funny that, like, you don't know anything about the ogre. Bro, what? Look at the... <laughs> Look at the kid with the Pikachu mask. That's a good mask. I want that one. What? I know the legends of Kitakami better than anybody. Pretty gutsy of you to laugh at your big sis. Oh my god. She is ready to punch him in the face right now. Look at her stance. She is about to flip out Karen style. Look at that. That's terrifying. So sorry yeah, you better, you know, step into line, buddy. I mean, Christ, you're in danger. I think I might have to call CPS. Kiki's still a little baby, so of course he thinks some kind of terrible monster's cool. He likes the ogre more than the loyal three. Oh look, they got candy apples. Let's go check out the stalls. Your little baby, Kieran. Come and get some shaved ice. All right, let me just talk to Kieran first. Let's see if we go to each stand. Excuse me, two candy apples, please. This guy is me when I go into public. I cannot talk to people. You got it. Two candy apples coming right up. Uh, here. David Frigg, you can have one. Thanks. Grandma gave me some pocket money, so it's no big deal. I love candy apples. You don't get to eat them every day, you know. How about you get a job and grow up, Kieran? How about you stop believing in stupid myths, Kieran? How about you stop rooting for the villain in the story, Kieran? Grow up. God. Get a job. Taking grandma, grandma's money? She's gonna need that. She doesn't have a 401k, okay? She's done once her money runs out, okay? She'll starve to death. Grandma always makes us mochi as a snack. Stop leaning on your grandma, Kieran. You're old enough to work for your keep. Uh, 
as Silene would say. There's even a Pokemon in Kitakami that looks like a little old candy apple. Did you know that? Hey, let's check that out over there. I did know that, Kieran. You're not clever. Alright, shaved ice. Come and get your shaved ice with as much syrup as you like. Dude. Alola Blue. Alola. This shaved ice is covered in syrup that evokes the color of the Alolan Sea. Oh man, I want to play Pokemon Sun again. Alright, I'll get this one. I don't care about any of the powers. I don't... I don't make sandwiches. Or buy food. But damn, that looks good. I want that right now. I was just supposed to find him? Step right up for a game of ogre ousting. So, y'all want to have a go? Okay. Hey, you're one of those kids that came all the way from Paldea, right? I can't very well take money from a guest. Have to go. On the house. Have a go. On the house. Oh, you're gonna try it, David Ferg? I'll, uh... I'll cheer you from a safe distance. What, you don't want to stone the ogre with us, Kieran? You don't want to run him off out of the town? You don't want to ostracize him? You wuss. I did one just now. It was pretty easy for me, that is. My score was 6390. You think you can do better? Go get her, David Ferg. I don't know, I, I wouldn't root for me. You don't want to deal with that later tonight. She is going to kill you. If I win, she's going to be pissed. All right, let it load for two decades. Here we go. Ooh, Ogre Ousting is a traditional game that has been played in Masui Town since long ago. Gather up lots of berries and bring them to the berry table to try and earn yourself a high score. The playing field is dotted with ogre balloons in four different colors. Pop these balloons to collect the berries inside them. Four different colors of berry tables at your home base. Place one of your berries on a matching table by getting close to it and pressing the A button. Once you manage to place the target number of berries on these tables, you win. From time to time, greedy Pokemon may gather around the berry tables, hoping to gobble up all of your hard-earned berries. If you let them, they'll eat all of your berries until they're gone. Use the R button to scare them off. Okay. Okay, I got it. Berries need 2, 4, 2, 2. Okay. Okay, where's, where's the table? Quickly. <laughs> this is actually really cool. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, okay, okay. Cleared. Preparing next stage. This is so interesting. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I can't let them eat my berries. All right, what else do I need? Uh, six. Ah, uh, this is stressful. Oh. All right, quickly get back. I gotta be car minded. I gotta. Oh my god. Uh, all right. Nice. Why would you ever run back to deposit them? Right? Because you can collect as many as you need. Oh, I guess there's a... Uh, there's a little inventory thing in the corner. Oh, no. Look at how bad my game's lagging. This game is wild. Oh, God. Get back. I guess there's only three stages, right? Okay, there are gonna be Pokemon running for my uh, berries here. Oh man. Uh, what do I need? I need green. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Green. Oh no. Pokemon are eating my berries. Come 
Come on now. Oh. Woo! Oh my god. That's an interesting game. I hope there's more levels of difficulty. Oh, look at that. And I took a picture of <laughs> the white screen. Yes, I beat Carmen. Yes. Nice. Oh my god, I got all these mochi. What does that do? What does mochi do? View photo. I kind of want to picture that. Nice. We beat Carmen. I hope she gets really mad. I like her when she's angry. No, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. That was some fine dashing about. Let's see now. You scored 7,247 points. So here's your prize. You, you obtained the EXP charm. What? EXP charm? Is that like a... Having one of these charms increases the EXP points your Pokemon gets. It's a strange stretchy charm that encourages growth. Okay, so it's like a lucky egg. Cool. I, Carmine, Masui's reigning champion of Ogre Balloon Bursting, have been defeated? Oh, she was the champion? You just got slaughtered, buddy. You gotta get back to the drawing table. I just played that for the first time, and you've lived here your entire life, which seems to be about four years longer than mine. What a loser, Carmine. I hope you get really mad. Uh, I hate losing. I want to have another go to get even, but I'm all out of pocket money. Dude, I just beat this town's champion of this game they've done for generations in a single try. Kiki, you go and beat David Frick for me. <laughs> now. What's that? You're taking the side of an outsider over your sister? That makes me so annoyed. I think I'm going to black out. Oh my god. Her blood is literally boiling right now. Uh, sorry. She's causing such a scene. Don't worry, I'll deal with her. Why don't you go wander around a bit in the meantime? Alright, Kieran. Oh, Ogre Pond. <laughs> Look at him waddle off. I am starstruck. Look at that. Oh my god, this rat just appeared out of nowhere. Can I kick it? Nice. I'm gonna bring a date next year. <laughs> That's one of the best lines they've ever added in the Pokemon series. It's too realistic. Next year, I'll bring a date. Yeah, we'll see about that, buddy. Where'd you go? What's up? Dancing around, dude. Look at him. He's waddling about. He's a good dude. He did not deserve what he got, I feel like. Unless he does something crazy right now. Oh, Oh, he's so cute. Pawn. A mysterious child is staring at you from behind their mask. Okay. Really? Really? We think this is a child still? Do you not see its legs? <laughs> what? What? Uh, okay. Hey, David Frick, listen to this. It's nuts. Kiki's no use at all. Zero talent for ousting ogres, I'm telling you. Huh? Yeah, that's totally a regular child. That's... Yeah, that's the body shape of a child. Hey, who is that? You didn't you didn't recognize it either, huh? Miss Legends Knower? You suck, Carmine. Succeed at one thing. God. I can't ride it? What just can, can you just reach up? Can you just put your arm over? Can you could you lift yourself over? No, my character's a goddamn wuss. Alright. Ready to go. Top of the stairs. Whoa, this is an animated cutscene. Look at the Difference in quality. You shouldn't run off on your own. Dang, this looks nice. Hey, new kid, that goes for you too. Oh, look at its face. Oh, it's so cute. Look at it. Oh, give it its mask back. You should come back. The mountain's dangerous this night. At night. Wait. Are they still not recognizing this? Are you kidding me? It looks like a goddamn... It, it's got the face of the damn Teletubby or something. 
How do you not recognize this? You found the teal mask. You put the teal mask in your bag. Key item pockets. A teal mask patterned after the face of an ogre. Ogre Pond dropped it while fleeing up the stairs after revisiting the festival of masks. The poor thing wants a friend. Who is that? Where'd that kid come from? Carmen, you're an idiot. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's a kid. You dumb. What are you talking about? Wait, do you mean... Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Ran off toward the mountain. Could that have been the ogre from the story on all the signboards? Yeah. Are you saying that story was true? I mean, they did drop a mask, so they really must be. Yeah, I have an ancient artifact in my bag. Never touched by human hands. It's just in my bag. I could show it to you. It, it literally confirms, like, everything. No? Y you don't care? You're, you're gonna keep staring at Kieran? Okay. David Ferg, sis, what are you guys doing over here? Oh, we just bumped into the ogre, you know. We just, you know, bumped into the ogre. Not a big deal. Hey, wait, stop, stop, stop. What, what? Why are you yelling all of a sudden, sis? It's nothing. It's nothing you'd be interested in at all, I swear. Mm-hmm. Oh, I get it. I bet you were making fun of me behind my back. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what we were doing, Karen. You little dweeb. Your sister and I were just making up insults, you know, just... Sending them back and forth and back and forth, making new ones. Man, you were getting flamed over here, Kieran. Nothing else was happening other than that, though. We were just calling you a complete loser. Me and your sister here, who I am in love with. Oh, I get it. You're being fun of me behind my back. I'm just gonna head back to the festival. Yeah, you're 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 totally not suspicious, Kieran. Woo! At least he didn't figure out what we were really talking about. Don't scare me like that blabbing for the whole world to hear. Don't you have a filter? No, I don't. No, I, I, I don't. See, Kiki really likes the ogre. Like, really, really, really likes it. That's, that's too many reallys, Carmine. Okay, you're kind of scaring me with this right now. Like, what are you talking here? Like, I don't want to say it, but, you know, your brother might be a freak. He might be a freak, okay? You kind of probably shouldn't be telling me this. Did he share this with you in private? I mean, you should probably, like, get him some help, some therapy. Don't tell random friends about it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna stop yapping. So, if he found out we'd seen the ogre without him, I guess I was afraid he'd feel bad, you know? Yeah, you don't want him to feel bad. You are a cons- you are constantly a complete bitch to this kid. And you don't want him to feel bad. Yep. Classic Carmine. Carmine. Yeah, okay. I guess I was afraid he'd feel bad, you know, feel left out or something. Am I overthinking it? No, you're just, you're kind of underthinking it at this point, Carmen. Sides, I didn't want him running up the mountain to follow the ogre at this hour either. Well, in any case, we already lied about it, and that's that. Yep, you can never go back on a lie. That's why I haven't spoken to my brother in years. I'm kidding. Let's keep this whole thing our little secret, okay? Oh yeah, Carmine. I will gladly hold a secret for you. And maybe hold off on showing Kiki that mask you just picked up too. And that's it. We're we're done at that. You know, that's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna ignore what just happened. Go about with our day. Don't tell anybody. It was nothing. Nothing happened. Forget it. We just saw the most, like, disdained and also renowned, like myths of your people and we're just gonna forget you're real you're real smarty carmine is it carmine I, I don't know someone let me know had enough of the festival no i want to see what uh carmine has to say i don't want to play that uh game again right now maybe the next festival because apparently it's multiple days hee <laughs> hee the festival's so much fun and absolutely nothing weird happened right 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 yep mm-hmm can I buy a mask or what? Like, what's going on here? Can I equip the mask that I got? Yeah, I've had enough. I'll walk you back to the community center. That's one thing I don't understand about this game. Why are you not able to advance time like Legends Arceus? I feel like that's just such a stupid feature not to have. Head outside when I'm ready. All right, I, uh, I think I'm gonna end this episode after this first festival. But first, I'll go outside and see what's going on, what's coming up next. There you are, David Ferg. Just because we didn't agree to meet doesn't mean you get to keep me waiting. Ah, oh, Carmine. You lovable bitch. All right. Sorry. 
Uh, you see, I wanted to talk to you a bit. You haven't told any about anybody about the, you know, the thing that happened yesterday, right? Of course not. What thing? <laughs> Come on, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We bumped into the ogre. Yogurt. Yeah, we bumped into that yogurt. Oh, yeah. I'm kidding. Uh, yes, yogurt. So don't play dumb, got it? That's the whole point, Carmine. You suck at this. Just like you suck at everything else. But I love you. You still have that thing we picked up at the stairs, right? I sure do. My grandpa knows a lot about the village history. We should go talk to him about what happened yesterday. Yeah, let's go tell your grandfather so he can tell all of his friends at Bingo and they can tell him. And then he hears it from them and we'll wonder why we didn't tell him first. And he'll get jealous of me and then he'll kill me in my sleep. You know where my house is, right? See you there. Don't keep me waiting. All right. Let's show grandpa the, you know, the thing we found. Yeah, I, I get it. Is that a Munchlax sticker? Let me see. Uh, let's see. Roto stick. Let me change my position. Yes, that is totally a Munchlax. Cool. I probably should have taken a picture of the festival, huh? And to Carmine's house. All right. All right, so I'm going to end it right here in front of Carmine's house. So we're ready for the next episode. Next episode, where you're going to continue the story, and that's just about it. What? Can this kid get out of the frame? Holy God. Like, please. All right, that freaking Brad over here. All right, back to the recording. Um, yeah, so next episode, we are going to, you know, just continue the story. That's just about it. I'm sure Kieran's involved with the ogre somehow. I mean, this might be the most obvious story I have ever seen in any medium of all time. Like, yeah, this is like a the Hallmark version, the Hallmark movie adaptation of a video game right here. The most predictable thing will always happen in every situation um so yeah we're just gonna continue the game next time not gonna do side quests remember i do have a new series that is going to be coming out with uh bdsp shiny nuzlocke only shinies and it's a nuzlocke it's gonna suck when one of my pokemon die but i'm ready for it i can't wait it's all going to be streamed so tune in at some point to watch uh it'll probably be like around once or twice weekly i'm not sure it might start in a few weeks but we'll see i'm sure uh editor will let you know but yeah that's just about it thank you so much for watching i can't wait to finish this dlc wait to see what happens next see you in the next episode